Fantastic. It's just an amazing day. It's not like any of us haven't done it before. I have to say, one of the biggest April Fools I've ever seen on this entire platform has been pulled off by the uh, number one YouTuber, otherwise known as, uh, of course, of all time, T-Series. I was joking, April Fools. Uh, it was uh, PewDiePie. Oh wait, hang on, what's the date? It's not April 1st anymore. Can't be pranking yous now, can I? T-Series was overtaking our almighty PewDiePie and all of a sudden, PewDiePie released a single video called Congratulations. Now, me personally, seeing this video, I was like, oh man, he's making another one of his videos. Uh, he's just singly titling it. Yeah, that's what PewDiePie does. He makes some sarcastic kind of titles and then he just sort of uploads them. And, you know, you don't really know what he's talking about half the time, but you click on them anyway because it's PewDiePie and, you know, everyone loves PewDiePie. But anyway, it was number one trending today in New Zealand. And, uh... I checked it out, it turns out it's a freaking song. I mean, it shows how much I'm behind. Yes, the thing I like about PewDiePie, he doesn't, he doesn't ask for the attention. You know, he won't put Vivo in the thumbnail. No matter how much money he's put into the video, he just puts a singular title, whether it's sarcastic or not. He just does not give a f And he releases it on his channel, and then whether people check it out or not, uh -huh, that's their discretion. So anyway, back to it. T-Series took over PewDiePie on the 29th of March and it was all on. I mean, T-Series had this fantastic banner made up entitled T-Series is the number one channel and PewDiePie released this fantastic uh, song, uh, diss track, song, di song, diss track. Uh, so it was this song and he released it on March 29th and then all of a sudden T-Series started losing. They started losing after everything became real once again. And it happened to happen on New Zealand. Not American, New Zealand and Australia's Oceana, April Fool's Day. Oh my gosh, let's dive in. Oh my goodness. I had butted the mo- Let's dive right into it and check out Congratulations from PewDiePie. I've watched it like once or twice or maybe three times. I I've watched it a fair few times. Here we go! T-Series! Yeah. It's your big day! Whoa. Incredible job! I know we had our differences, but today, I just want to tell you- I congratulations! Oh, Ruby! With the vocals here! Guess you be one Swedish boy, you need a billion Asians Yeah, you did it very nice And all it took was a massive corporate entity with every song in Bollywood Yeah, that's right Now that's you're at number one a Hope pie. you did nothing wrong like starting your business by selling pirated songs Oops, didn't think Here we go! Now, nah, that's the start of the disses But hey, PewDiePie claims that um, it's on Wikipedia that T-Series was doing pirated, pirated songs when they very first started. Let's take a look for ourselves. So here we are with Wikipedia, uh, <laughs> T-Series Company. T-Series was founded on 11th of July, 1983 by Gulshan Kumar. And the company initially sold pirated, pirated Bollywood songs prior to releasing original music. So Felix Schelberg is right this time. All right, we'll continue with the diss track and we'll continue to do research as we go. I get used to your past being held against you by the media. Uh -oh. uh, I just want to comment on that. PewDiePie did have his past held against him by the media. As you all know, I did videos on that. So, uh, you know, PewDiePie is just giving an example of having your past held against you by the media. What PewDiePie is trying to, what I believe, what he's trying to say is that T-Series has to get used to it because of being the number one YouTube channel, you know. They're gonna have to get used to the fact that uh, the media's gonna be putting the spotlight on them, you know, constantly. Nothing that you're doing that's illegal, yeah. I'm certain that you haven't had collusions with the mafia. For legal reasons, that's it. Oh, collusions with the mafia, what the? 
the hang is PewDiePie talking about? Well, just give me a second. I'm a fantastic YouTuber and uh, I can research that one for you. So according to this article from uh, Hindu Stan Times, I believe it is, uh, August 30th, 1997, music composer Nadim Akhtar, 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 I'm still not good with his names, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, Safi is declared a co-conspirator of Kumar's murder. Safi, who allegedly hired the killers, has been in the United Kingdom ever since. Who the heck? is Nadim. Let, let's go in and figure this one out. Okay, so I've basically gone to wiki on Nadim uh, Shiravan. Shir Shiravan? Okay, so basically there's a middle paragraph here which speaks about uh, Nadim. Apparently they were a duo in the Bollywood film industry of India and this duo apparently had you know this mass breakthrough in the 90s okay okay here's the juicy stuff okay here it is okay so if I come to this part where it says however the duo's career temporarily temporarily came to a halt with the murder of T-Series founder Gulsan Kuma by the Mumbai Mumbai Underworld Syndicate D Company with Nadim blah blah blah, initially accused of involvement before later being uh, exonerated. Uh, the duo eventually made a comeback in the 2000s. So it seems to me like he was accused but he wasn't actually convicted of the actual murder. So uh, they eventually, both of them, made the comeback in the 2000s with obviously more Bollywood music. So I kind of dug a bit deeper and I wanted to find out who the D company is. Like who's this D company? And I found uh, on Wikipedia D company is an existing company. So the Darwood company and D company are terms coined by the Indian media uh, for the Mumbai Underworld Organized Crime Syndicate founded and controlled by Dawood Ibrahim. So he's an Indian Mafia dom. Uh, the crazy thing is in 2011 uh, this guy Ibrahim, I think that's his name, uh, along with his D company, so that's like his group that he kind of founded and created, uh, was number three on the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitives. Of course PewDiePie wouldn't want to talk about this kind of thing in his, you know, track because he wouldn't want any legal implications to get involved with uh, his, you know, great song that he's brought out. <laughs> know Your Meme has actually created, for legal reasons, that's a joke, as a meme. Since that's a joke for legal reasons, that's a joke for serious Indian mafia. Please don't yeah, kill, don't me. kill that's a joke. Please, Indian please, mafia. I'm sorry about yeah. the memes. You're the best. I love my Indian bros from Bombay to Bangladesh. And yes. I'm just gonna pause it there again because uh, there are bros from India that support PewDiePie. Don't believe me? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll prove it. This is your boy, Mr. Wilson. And since this war has started, I have done a lot of things. I've made memes about this war. I've played bitch lasagna on my ukulele. And I destroyed 100 T-Series flyers in 100 different ways. Cause I had nothing to do. It's fitting that <laughs> yeah. since the culmination, the climax of this war is here, the climax I of the war is here, don't worry. We all understand that. I'll take on all the world for you, I'm a heavy hitter. About to cause a genocide, so you can call me. Hey, congratulations, it's a celebration. a cease and desist. Like usual, we find our answers on Wikipedia. A cease and desist, it's a letter or document that is sent to an individual or business to stop. The letter may warn if the recipient does not discontinue the persistified conduct. The persistified conduct? Uh, or take certain actions <laughs> by deadline set in the letter. The party may be sued 
Legally! Look out everybody, T-Series is on a rampage. I mean, it's, it's, it's basically a threat letter. Had a problem with me telling them to hold their defecation, but let- What the heck is a defecation? It's a term used, uh, not so much today, but it's a term used for excretiation of the uh, bodily fluids. I don't think I need to explain much more than that. Than that. But let me educate you, silly. That's not defamation. Whoa! What the heck is defamation? My goodness, you nine-year-olds. I don't know. Just gotta explain the whole, the whole gosh damn uh, track for you, is eh? Defamation is basically the communication of a false statement that harms the reputation of, i.e., a individual or company and you can basically go to the courts I'm going to uh, I'm gonna sue him uh, you can't actually do that in New Zealand you can't just sue people let me educate you silly that's not defamation T-Series can eat a dick still not defamation Stuck my fucking Swedish meatballs still oh, not defamation what? did you Swedish meatballs oh I have to say Oh, smaller than the most amazing rich and creamy gravy the meatballs are packed with such Delicious flavor. Good on you for mentioning one of the best dishes around. You know that Indians have poop -poo in their brains. That's a blatant racist lie. Yeah, but poo -poo they're still in the brain. Oh, Let's just search that one up as well. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit, you know, nitpicky here. But the best thing I was able to bring up on poop brain was from the Urban Dictionary. A poop brain or a brain poop. <laughs> Is uh, anything that someone says or does, 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 that is really stupid. You yeah, know, the grammar on this website, I, I, I really need to complain. Yeah, but still not defamation. India got YouTube figured out. That's sick, son. How about next you figure how to fix the cast system? Oh, Maybe. Okay, so, um, Boy in a Band, I believe his uh, YouTubers, has just uh, talked about the caste system in India. Uh, I do believe it is a system that has been in India for about 3,000 years. Yes, I know my history because I, I researched. So here's an example. I can't pronounce the names. I'm sorry. So the first word I think is Brahmins. Forget it. I'm just going to go off the colors of the triangle, okay? So you have the blue, the blue, the blue sector, and these are priests and the academic class. So these are like the higher of the uh, caste system. And then you go down to the uh, dark green. These are the rulers and administrators and of course the warriors, the fighters. And then you come down to the light green and then you have the um, the tradesmen, you know, the farmers and the merchants and all that sort of thing uh, in that category. And and then you go down to the orange and then you get the manual, ma the, you know, the manual laborers. So uh, the caste system is a system that has been frowned upon. You know, these systems are, you know, it's a very unique, it's a very unique system. Basically, if you're a family that's born in a certain category, your family stays in the category of that system. You don't really change. So if you're born Born a priest, you you know, or you're born an, on an ap academic level, you're up the top. If you're born into a family that you know is, is on the orange, uh, you're a manual labour. You're working on the roads, you're doing your thing, you know, and and that's what you remain. You don't work your way up. You just sort of stay there. Unlike in our country, New Zealand, uh, if you become like say for example, so you're like a worker at Subway, and then you you get to the point where you're a manager at Subway, and then eventually Eventually, you own a franchise in Subway. Like you can do that here in New Zealand. You can work your way up the system. But in India, you can't work your way up. Once you're in that position or in the system, you stay in that position. Now, I will say there is a um, grey. There's a grey area in the system. Uh, the Dalites. I'm going to say it. The Dalites. I think that's the word. That isn't even considered a part of the caste system. Uh, these are basically the street cleaners. Or, you know, they clean toilets. Or they, you know, they do all that sort of stuff. These people apparently are not even considered a part of the system. Uh, you've really got to feel for those people, to be honest. If you want to do something about it, boy in a band, if you have a problem with it, why don't you go over there, spend money, and actually help them fix it? I agree with you. Equality is very, very important. T-Series does not represent India as a whole. Ooh, maybe all those ads will solve your crippling poverty. Oh, but looking good, T-Series past. I'm whoa, guessing whoa, 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 Let's just look at the figures of the Indian poverty at the moment. So two-thirds of people in India live 
in poverty. So that's 68.8%. That is a high, high percentage of people. Uh, and they're living on less than $2 a day. And here we have over 30% even have less than $1.25 per day available. Poverty is a massive thing. It's not really something that a whole company can fix. I know Boyna Band is taking stabs at, uh, at T-Series to just uh, pull something out of the, you know, out of the air. Yes, T-Series could do something. I agree with that, but it's going to take a lot more. T-Series alone could not do a whole lot to the substantial numbers of people in poverty. That whole entire statement is irrelevant. Never mind the poor people, we just here to party. Just here to pop some bottles with a nine-year-old army. Not alcoholic cause I had a yeah, real go please, come on. We still like to live do it the like to Kamikaze. So this is it. Thanks for sticking with my channel. Ever since I was a nobody screaming at barrels. Here's the feel. Yeah, this is it. Here it is. It's been an adventure. It's the end of the reign of Felix Arvid Ulf Schalberg. Through all the change Even and controversy, name, you've been by my side. There's no army in the world. I would rather give me a watch time. It's been a wild ride. So while I can still be heard, here's one last bro fist from the number one in the world. I've been watching PewDiePie for a while, so that hits. We got a clapping meme going on, it's Mr. Beast! Everybody. What should we say about Mr. Beast? Uh, not much to say about that guy, apart from the fact he's very generous and he's a legend. Okay, let's just sum it up from what my opinion is. Uh, this isn't just PewDiePie vs. T-Series. To me, personally, I see this as people are fighting. Fighting, because it's constantly happening, even out of YouTube. People are fighting against corporations every day. This is about PewDiePie vs T-Series, don't get me wrong. Like there are die-hard fans of PewDiePie like myself that want him to win against T-Series. You know, I want to see him get to 100 mil before T-Series 2, but on the other hand, I see how the bigger picture is as well. I also understand that people want PewDiePie to win because PewDiePie is an individual content creator. He's an individual person who has built himself from the zero ground up and he has built himself to where he is today. And then you have T-Series, a corporation over here on this end that has their own backing, their own support, they've got their own funding, they've got everything, all the resources they need and they've just slammed themselves into a platform like YouTube which was uh, initially meant for individuals like PewDiePie and have brought themselves right up here very quickly and very fast. So yes, it is a battle between PewDiePie and T-Series, but at the same time, it is a battle between an individual and a corporation. Keep up the good fight, everybody. Keep up what you believe in. Keep fighting the good fight. And of course, we will see you all in the next video.